It's a sight many Texans know all too well after this week. Memories, belongings, and homes destroyed and lives taken at the hands of a twister. While these storms can't be prevented, warnings have gotten better. The National Weather Service has gotten really, really good uh, about typically doubling their lead time on a, on a tornado or a possible tornado um, from four, five, six minutes to now we get up to about 11 minutes. Before that was the case, the city of Bryan used to have a tornado siren, but it doesn't anymore. In a town the size of 3,000 people, that made a lot of sense. But when you start talking 70, 80, 100,000 people, it, one tornado siren really just does not reach out to those kinds of folks. Whereas College Station, which last had a tornado almost seven years ago, has never had a warning siren. They're very costly, um, effective to some degree. Um, but again, weather radio is, is the best tool um, for alerting for a, any kind, anything. The weather radio broadcasts continuous weather information from the nearest National Weather Service office. But it's not just sirens and radios. Weather apps are also helpful. I don't think anything will replace a tornado siren because not everybody has a mobile device. But let me tell you, if you have a cell phone, mobile device, or even tablet, it is very sufficient because most people carry it in their pockets. If they get a buzz or maybe a tone, the weather alerts are right there.